We have no need of cowards. Thank you, my lord. Welcome, or welcome back. If you're returning, my name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give that like button a click because that super helps us out. Well, there's no reason to remain here any longer. Let's get back to the reach. The beefcake. Say it with me! Beefcake! Beefcake! You didn't have to take part in the operation, but you did. You went above and beyond what was asked of you, without hesitation. For that, we owe you a debt. Our victory may not count for much in practical terms, but its symbolic value cannot be overstated. Alliance and Resistance fighters came together to face an Imperial unit equipped with Garlemald's newest weapons and smashed them. The people will remember this day. Aye, that they will, for it marks the beginning of something far greater than any single victory. The beginning of a campaign by United... By a united Eorzea to drive the Garleans from our lands. Promises and platitudes mean not without action, but the Alliance took the field and risked their lives for our cause. Ha, to think the last time Grandadian troops trod this soil was more than a century ago, during the Autumn War. And that was to defend against our invasion. Ours is a long and bloody history, to be sure, and it gives me heart to see that despite our acrimonious past, we can still come together for the sake of the future. Well said, Commander, which is why I intend to go from village to village and spread word of our victory and our new alliance. The people will flock to our banners, just you wait and see. Burr, Alizé, I cannot thank you enough for your assistance. <clears throat> oh wow, that was the easy one. <laughs> Owing to the efforts of you all, we have accomplished a great deal in a short time. The Resistance thanks you for your service, Scions. I see operations here have been proceeding at pace in my absence. Welcome back, brother dearest. I take it your efforts to gather new recruits were successful. Just look at all those new recruits. The gang's all here. Indeed, there were several amongst the Scions ranks that were quite eager to take part in our joint endeavor with the Resistance, whom I came- I have come to present. Commander Kemp, if I may. My name- my name is Arnvald Lentinus. Uh, a half-breed, as you can doubtless t tell. I am here to fight for a free Alamigo. For an Alamigo where women like my mother are never made to suffer. I pray you grant me this honor. You are a true-born son of Girabania, same as me. That is, this is not my honor to grant, but yours to freely take. Welcome, brother. With our swelling ranks and the aid of the Orzean Alliance and the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, I believe we will soon be in a position to seize the initiative. Once our new recruits have received sufficient training, I will propose to General Alden that we draw upon... Draw up plans for an assault on Castella Valadina. I cannot read this morning. Then, in the meantime, we will make what preparations we can. Hooray! Huzzah! You made it just in time for the ceremony, Aramel. <laughs>
I love singing soldiers. Alliance forces have occupied Castrum Orients and taken up positions along the length of the wall. Our patrols have engaged their reconnaissance parties on site, but there have been no significant exchanges, save one. A unit tasked with field testing prototype Magitek weapons was attacked. The weapons were destroyed with the unit sustaining near total casualties. Near total? Go on. My lord, there was but a single survivor from the unit in question, which falls under my command. According to his report, they were ambushed by a contingent of Aorzean Alliance regulars, abetted by resistance insurgents. Hmm. A simple ambush and only one survivor. A fine day's work. <laughs> the stubbornness to survive is not without worth. He may live. However, the Twelfth is no place for the weak. He shall be relegated at once, my lord. As you say, the Twelfth is no place for cowards who count their lives more precious than the cause. Indeed, indeed. We have no need of cowards. My lord, uh... Cowards! Who defer critical missions to their subordinates, who <laughs> hide within their castra, never meeting their prey in battle, never staring into the whites of their eyes. It's very rude. So rude. Bye! When confronted with a heretofore unknown icon, did we surrender the wall to the Alliance? Because my honored father, in his infinite wisdom, has not seen fit to grant us leave to march on their lands. Accordingly, we have extended an invitation to our neighbors. Gear Abania is where we shall host them. The field upon which we shall enjoy the sport of kings. Patience is paramount. Cornered animals may have spirit, but they are ultimately predictable and very poor sport. But if one dangles the promise of freedom before them while nipping at their heels to stoke their passion, then things become interesting. Tell me you're a psychopath without telling me you're a psychopath. <laughs> and so I put the question to you, my fellow huntsmen. How should we deal with these savages? My lord, I have a proposal. Silence, Alamegan! You do forget yourself! Only by the grace of Lord Van Bailsar were you afforded a place here, and that in name alone. We have no need of your proposals, savage. This savage yearns to hunt her own. The floor is yours, Commander. Thank you, my lord. Well, things just got interesting. Who that? <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Oh my gosh, she's ever that's adorable. <laughs> I can't with these potatoes. <laughs> I can't. You don't see that every day. Right then, I've got duties to attend to. Mayhap we could assist you with said duties. We are here to help, after all. The three of you have been busy, so I will understand if you require time to rest. If not, however, it would seem sensible to assist our allies with their preparations. Did a baby toddler ever <laughs> We'd be grateful for any and all help you can offer. If you ask around, I guarantee you won't want for work. Da 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 da. I, 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 I beg your pardon. The woman who bested Gaius Van Balsar wishes to offer me her assistance. I say, this is highly irregular, though I have heard it said you had a penchant for aiding the common man. In which case, before the occupation, I was a humble historian. While my duties leave me scarce time for aught else, I think it important that these momentous events be recorded for the benefit of future generations. Primaris... Primary sources are indispensable, and I had a mind to question a number of my fellow freedom fighters, ask them their motivations for taking up this cause, and so forth. You may take down their statements in this log, and, Burr, thank you for your service, now and ever after. I was just a cook before all this, simple fare, really. Had a chance to lend a hand and help feed some refugees one day. I took a liking to the fighters, they believed, you know? And there's always a need for cooks, or at least people who can work with whatever the foraging parties turn up. Why? Why indeed? To save lives, perhaps, or to make amends for the ones I couldn't. My father and my brothers work worked to death while building a castro. What did it matter to the Garleans, eh? More where that lot came from. After that, I couldn't keep on doing nothing. Hmm. Aren't you the Icon Slayer? Damned if I know why you'd bother asking someone like me why I joined the Resistance, but it's simple. If I wasn't fighting for El Amigo, I'd be fighting for the Empire. You're either with them or not, and if you're with them, you may as well make the most of it. Food, trading, citizenship if you live long enough. You'll die stealing someone else's land, like as not, but that's the choice. But me? I'd rather die here. I definitely read his name as Hot Man at first, and I was like, that's not it. <laughs> Why'd I join the resistance? Well, if you must know, it was to avenge a friend that the Imperials butchered before my very eyes back in El Amigo. We owned a stall in the markets and a passing soldier snatched up a piece of fruit. He spoke out before I could stop him, only to get a foam of steel in the gut for his troubles. I found my way here, and that was that. Hi there, friend. Well met, Burr. Have you spoken with the freedom fighters as I asked? Yeah. Hmm. As fascinating as they are varied, you have a knack for convincing others to bear their hearts to you. I could not have done better myself. Many years from now, when these tempestuous times pass into memory, their accounts will serve as a window into the struggle. We must never forget, my friend. Never. You want to help, do you? Hmm. Seeing as how I'm in no position to leave the stupa unattended, how could you go and ask teams? Team for a variety of herbs. Six springs or so of whatever he's got on hand should suffice. It's not as haphazard as it may seem. Depending on the recipe, it doesn't really matter what sort you add, so as long as you add something. I'll be here when you get back. Herbs, is it? Six springs of whatever's on hand? Afraid I can't spare that much. You'll take two and be glad of it. How rude. This is for your supper. The remainder you'll have to gather yourself. Shouldn't be too much of a bother, though. You'd be surprised what you can find growing underfoot, even in the reach. Ah, uh, there you are. Got those herbs I asked for. Yes. The reach greens. Ah, <sighs> thanks. That'll do nicely. And, uh, sorry to impose upon you, miss. Thought you were another new recruit. Didn't realize until after that you were, uh... <laughs> sure. But to answer the question that's probably on your mind, yes, it's always like this. Never enough food or supplies to go around. All the more reason to be grateful when our countrymen can spare some for the cause. Though that comes at a cost, too. Too many villages, too many children more deserving than us. 
But a man can't fight on an empty stomach, can he? So we partake as we must, and we never lose sight of the dream. You look like a strider in search of comrades in need. If so, I have a task for you. I am a trainer, and I was told to expect new recruits this eve. Yet Area 1 has come. Perhaps they were given the wrong time or location. I do not know. They number five in all. These would be warriors. Send them unto me, should you chance to find them. Five of them, but they're all lost. Okay, not a good start. I know, I know I'm late, but I had to say a prayer for my sister first. After what the Imperials did to her, death was a mercy. <laughs> huh? Training? God, I was so busy practicing to impress the others that I completely forgot. Thank you. Ah, a, a thousand pardons. So preoccupied was I by the question of whether El Amigo could be a monarchy or a republic that I neglected to attend my training. How silly, I know. Until we drive the Imperials from our lands, the question is moot. The teacher calls for me, I see. We were discussing strategies for disabling Magitech armor, you see, and... Ah, yes, of course there is no time. If you would excuse me... Oh, bugger, you were sent by the snake, weren't you? I heard one in four recruits doesn't live through their training. That can't be true, right? Oh, bugger, oh, bugger. Well, there's five of you, so you should be good. All recruits are present and accounted for. My thanks to you, so, no, I'll appreciate the rigor with which I trade my recruits. Some favor a gentler approach, as if the Imperials will be so kind. Tis a thankless job to teach some, say, but I say their survival is thanks enough. Fare you well. <laughs> Damn it all, where could it have got to? Oh, uh, pardon me. Fellow lover of freedom and justice, you haven't seen a reward of the Destroyer anywhere, have you? Maybe on the ground, as if a certain bloody fool had dropped it? I, I'd been him. I had it this morning, that much I knew for certain, and I've not left the reach since. So it's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> a fetch quest, perhaps? Hmm, if you've got a moment to spare, would you be willing to help me search? I spent some time near the Temple of the Fist earlier, so it might be there. As for me, I'll look around near the officer's pavilion. They're hardly rare, I know, and I could just as easily buy another, but even so, please help me find it. I swear I've searched high and low, but it just won't turn up. Seven L's, that's the one. That's my lucky ward. You're a godsend, sister. Before I was born, my mother made a pilgrimage to the Temple of the Fist, where she, like many others, received the blessings of the monks. And then Theodoric came and burnt it all to the ground, the mad bastard. And after him came the Garleans, who cared even less for our beliefs. But I still keep to the old ways, as do many others. And when my son is born, I'll teach him the stories of the scripture, as my mother taught me. And with that, another task is complete. Aye, that she has, and we thank her for it. It pleases me to inform you that our new recruits have completed their initial training and stand ready to contribute. As discussed, Minago, I would have you present... But have you presented my proposal for an assault on Castillo Villadina to General Alden personally? Are you and yours planning to return to Castrum Oriens before the operation? If so, why don't we travel together? That seems a fine suggestion, but I must consult my comrades ere we depart. Very well, I will wait for you at the pass, but not too long. Don't tell me what to do. I expect Kryl and Ishtola will wish to remain here to support the Chirurgians, but nevertheless, we should go and ask them. Who is Artemis? I see. That would explain the sudden flurry of activity outside. This joint operation marks a turning point in our conflict with the Garleans. For the first time, the resistance of the Alliance shall go on the offensive and attempt to capture an Imperial outpost in occupied territory. Personally, I believe it is imperative that we offer them our full support. As was the case with Ishgard, however, this is not a choice to be made lightly, nor less on others' behalves. This is war, and every scion must decide what part he or she will. I'll fight for Alamigo, for my father, for Ida. I'm in it to the end. The choice was made for us we were, ere we were born, brother, when the Empire marched on Eorzea. They will stop at nothing to subjugate or slaughter us all. Van Balsar and Van Damas were but the first to try. 
Though your fervor is surprising, I cannot dispute your logic. <clears throat> At the risk of repeating myself, I am, a, I am, of course, of the same mind. The present situation is untenable and further complicated by the existence of Ilburn's primal. I believe we have no recourse but to directly and openly intervene. I thought this a foregone conclusion given our actions thus far, but if you require renewed affirmation, then yes, I am still wholly committed to this cause. For it is ultimately the self-same cause I have served since first I pledged to serve Master Louisois in the circle of knowing. The salvation of Eorzea, by any means necessary. She is so freaking sassy, too. I Unwavering sass, I suppose. That said, I shall refrain from taking the field on this occasion. There are many here who require further treatment and doubtless more to come after. I came here for Minfilia and that hasn't changed. However, I'd like to stay with Estrola for now and tend to the wounded. As for you, Burr, you are, to quote our dear friend Lord Edmont, the woman who slew Gaius van Belsar, and some half-dozen primals besides. Your presence may well prove the difference between victory and defeat. Many look to you as a hero, and heap great expectations upon your shoulders, but you, like every scion, must decide for yourself. Indeed, as you have doubtless seen during your time in the outlying villages, their so-called meritocrac... Mer I can never say that word. Meritocracy. Is that it? Meritocracy is but a pretext to torture and enslave their lesser subjects. Such is the fate that awaits us all should their expansion continue unchecked. Take care, Estrella, Kryle, and do not hesitate to contact us should you require assistance. Lise, I would ask that you remain here by Conrad's side. We should go, or Monago will leave without us. <sighs> Might I persuade you to join us, Burr? Should you wish to give your decision further consideration, Castrum Oriens would seem an apt place to do it. You need not answer right away. I am sure I could convince Munago to wait a little longer. So you will be accompanying us. Full glad am I to hear it. All set? Excellent. Then let us be off. Yeah, I kind of miss your fluffy white head. <laughs> Welcome back, comrades. What's new What news? Greetings, General. I am Comet Commander Com Kemp's behest to brief you on the latest developments at the Reach. Our recruitment efforts have exceeded expectations. In addition to welcoming many motivated young Alamegans, our ranks have been bolstered by the arrival of a number of experienced veterans, thanks in large part to the efforts of the Scions. As a consequence, we are now able to field half a dozen new units, with more being trained as we speak. Good. I gather Conrad is eager to strike while the iron's hot. Just so, General. He proposes that we begin preparations for a joint operation to capture Castellum Veladina. Capture Veladina? That will not be easy. It will, however, be necessary if we are ever to push east towards the capital. There is no profit in delay. It is only a matter of time before the Garleans learn of our plans and summon reinforcements. The Alliance hereby accepts Commander Kemp's proposal. Tell him to take no chances. Bring every able-bodied Alamegan who can wield a weapon. Pippin, I want, Vel I want Veladina watched. Assess its defenses. Every fortress has a weakness, and I would know this one's. If there is no objection, General, make the Scions join Marshal Tyrabel. Tee <laughs> God. By all means. If that is all, let us be about it. Conrad and the General are w of one mind, it seems. I only wish I could say the same. While this aggressive strategy may well profit us in the end, what losses will we suffer in the means of being crazy? Anyway, we should speak with the Vice Marshal about this reconnaissance mission and see how he would like to proceed. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel we are aiming for 1k so we're almost there also if you are new and you haven't yet please subscribe 
we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.